The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at a beautiful yacht that's not just all about space. This yacht is a direct result of customer feedback on what people want to see in a luxury yacht. It's the Riviera 53 Enclosed Flybridge. Let's take a look. We begin with the cockpit that measures 118 square feet and storage is seemingly everywhere. There's wide open space for a fighting chair, but to me, this deck appeals more towards being able to accommodate tasteful outdoor furniture. The main reason for that has to be the customer-inspired design features like this optional transom-mounted double grille complete with sink and plenty of storage underneath. Riviera even adds LED lighting underneath the lid. Warping winches are recessed into the quarters and the entire corners are covered in stainless steel chafing protection. Two large deck boxes can be used for either storing your catch or your supplies. There's a cockpit control station that will be convenient for fishing or docking short-handed. Access to the engine room is either through a day hatch in the stairs or, get a load of this, by raising the entire cockpit deck to expose the engine room. If you're into choices, Riviera will accommodate with either twins, triples, forward-facing pods, or aft-facing pods. Here we have Volvo Penta's triple IPS 600s installed. I love a galley aft layout and this one is fully loaded with refrigerated drawers, a full-size oven, dishwasher, and even the drawers and cabinets are designed to keep your glassware from shifting about in a seaway. If you choose to dine out on the cockpit, you'll appreciate how easily you can bring the outside in. Across from the galley, customer demand for more storage is met with a recessed pantry, additional freezer space, and an ice maker. Now let's move forward to the salon. The Rosewood Antico deck and cherry finish cabinetry continues into the salon area and opposing couches make for an intimate conversational atmosphere. Windows are brought down low enough to give sight lines to the horizon even while seated. Air conditioning is dispersed from behind the overhead balances. Let's take a look below decks. As we come down the companionway, the guest stateroom is to starboard with over under berths and you can tell by the size of these berths that they're not shoehorned into position. Across the companionway is the guest head that also serves as the day head and it even includes a walk-in shower with a seat. The forward VIP features an island queen with cherry finish cabinetry. Every bit of usable space is very nicely utilized for storage. Again, the balances are used for climate control as in the salon and there's a separate private access to the guest head. Moving back to and around the corner from the companionway stairs, we have storage opposite a washer-dryer combo. Having the engines mounted so far back allows plenty of room for this amazing full beam master stateroom. A king size berth is mounted on the center line and the headboard is a very soft crushed velvet. There are hull side windows and a comfortable settee to port. The head is aft into the port side and features opening port lights and ceramic tile deck. Again, the walk-in shower has a seat so you can clean up even while underway. As we move to the starboard side, we have a massive flat screen TV and a corner mounted vanity with mirror. And look at this beautiful walk-in closet that even has accommodations for shoe racks at the bottom. As if this boat needed another gathering area, that's exactly what you get in the flybridge. Dual pedestal helm seats face an aft-mounted pod-style helm, and while this position gives you a commanding view of the cockpit, you will have limited view of the bow. For that reason, the long-range cruisers can opt for a forward-mounted helm with the gathering areas abaft. In both instances, this helm is expertly laid out and comfortable to operate from either sitting or standing and the captain is completely surrounded with first class amenities. In this configuration, a lounger is to starboard with storage underneath. Moving forward, an upper galley will certainly save a lot of running up and down the stairs. A U-shaped settee is to port with a clever table that expands for dining and collapses for a more casual atmosphere. As below, the air handling takes place behind overhead valances. Clearly, Riviera responded to the many years of research and feedback in the design of this 53 enclosed flybridge. To me, it seems that one of the main design goals that they achieved was fitting a 63-foot boat into a 53-foot hull. In my opinion, the full-beam master stateroom and multiple gathering areas are two standouts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.